Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop, in association with Avatar Laboratories, presents part. 50,000 million and 69 of the building a solid state tester coil video. In this video I'm going to make the output stage for the solid state tester coil. So I got all the bits already laid out and ready to be used. So I've got a nice big heat sink, two capacitors, and two transistors. Of course, in the final version, I am going to use bigger ones than that. These are just pretty much just stand-ins, but they'll do the job. There's an IRFP740, so they'll be all right for the low power tests. Got my MUR diodes, my gate drive transformer, the resistors and capacitor for the gate drive transformer, the gate resistors, and some other various bits and pieces, such as solder, screws and thermal pads, thermal paste. So let's put together an output stage. So what I want to do first is I'm going to put these, I'm going to put the output transistors in and I'm going to put them in the middle because in the middle, like that, is, it'll make it easier to connect the gate drive transformer. I'm going to put the diodes on either side. I know these look like transistors but these are actually diodes. Put them on either side like that. And then just connect everything else up and we'll have an output stage. Alright, so I've got the four components on. So the nice thing to do is the diode to MOSFET connections. And then I'll do the capacitors. And then the power connections. And then the gate drive transformer. Connect that up and we'll have an output stage. These are actually pretty good diodes to use because they're nice and fast switching diodes. And also, if we measure the diode that's in the MOSFET, you can see we've got a voltage drop there of 490 millivolts, but we measure across the diode. And just get that on there. It's only 385 millivolts. So, any nasty reverse voltage spikes Instead of flowing through the diode in the MOSFET, they're going to flow through this diode instead, which will protect the MOSFET and hopefully nothing will blow up. Okay then, we got the MOSFETs connected to the diodes. And if I measure the voltage drop, you can see that it hasn't changed because, as you know, electricity always takes the easiest path. So these diodes are going to handle any nasty reverse voltage spikes rather than the MOSFET's own diode have to take it, so anyway. I think now is a perfect time to put the diodes in, I mean to connect the capacitors up and um, stuff. So here is the completed half bridge driver. Got the MOSFETs and the diodes, which is this part right here. There's the MOSFETs, there's the diodes. And for my capacitors, I've used microwave oven capacitors. And these are probably not the best kind of capacitors to use, but however, they are sure, more than certainly, going to be able to handle the voltage. So this is where the positive connects, this wire here. This is the negative. And these two wires here go out to the primary. And I'm not sure if this circuit is going to be fussy about which way the primary is connected. Because all the ones I've done before this have been Class E based, whereas this one is a half bridge. So, I've no idea. Anyway, I've just got to hook up my gate drive transformer and then connect the rest of the circuit and we'll see if we can get first light. Ladies and gents. It is done! Of course, the question is, does it work? Well, won't know until we try this out. Well, here it is, everyone. The completed Tesla coil. I can barely wait to power this up, but I'm going to have to because it's getting pretty late. You won't have to wait, though, 
because in the very next video I'm gonna power this up and that video is gonna be uploaded straight after this one and we'll see if this has all been worthwhile all I've got to do now is add a breakout point done need to add a heat sink onto these regulators here especially this one since this one is going to be handling the most current because that's going to be providing the current for the gate drive chips and of course I want to insulate this from any nasty RF that comes off this coil because I've had chips die that way I like fried chips but not those kind of fried chips I think there's a storm brewing outside but I'm going to be making my own lightning and of course also going to be making that RF meter to measure the RF coming off this thing so that is all going to be in the next video so see you in the next video until next time goodbye and whatever and let's see if we get first light